you sat there and you looked at somebody that you knew who was trans, who was queer, who was brown, who at any way was affected by any of Trump's policies or had the potential to be and say and said to them, look them in the eye and said to them, you will be fine. You were lying. This latest proposal from the Trump Pets administration is depraved. It is cruel. And it is why I'm here with all of you today to say loud and clear that hate has no home here. Bigotry has no home here. Transphobia has no home fear. And discrimination, even when package wrapped with the pretty White House seal on it, has no home here. When trans rights are under attack, what do we do? Stand up like that! What do we do? Stand up like that! What do we do? Stand up like that! That's right. We need to rise above the basement. We need to get to the light of society because in that light is protection. It's supposed to be protection from that. Protection from hate. Trans people exist because self-power, self-acceptance, self-embracement, self-love. Before I came out into the world and demanded basic human rights, I accepted myself and I gave me permission to exist. Are you ready to mobilize? Yes! Are you ready to mobilize? Yes! Are you ready to organize? Yes! Are you ready to sue the bastards? Yes! Are you ready to vote? Yes! Let's go do it! Yes! You can't be for le living and letting live and then being for this policy that just that writes us out of existence. If you want to live and let live, if that is your mantra, go ahead. I respect that. But you need to actually do that. 